No matter where the fire station is located, when the alarm sounds, firefighters rush to answer the call. They know that every second counts for keeping a fire from spreading, minimizing property loss, and most of all, saving lives. But while the dedication of firefighters across the country may be the same, the size of the crews they dispatch to a fire may vary significantly from station to station. Some with just two firefighters per engine, others with as many as five. So, how effective are different sized crews at combating residential fires? To address that critical question and others, a landmark study was conducted by a consortium of fire researchers led by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Uh, this is the first time in a national study that we've been able to isolate the effects of crew size, in this case two persons, three persons, four persons, and five persons uh, on an engine. Uh, also look at the effects of engine arrival time, the spacing between the uh, subsequent engines, and the different fire growth rates. Using a two-story test house built near the NIST campus in Maryland, the researchers studied different sized crews of firefighters in action against residential fires. Crews of two, three, four, and five firefighters were timed performing each of 22 standard tasks for responding to a fire. The results? Four and five person crews completed all of the firefighting and rescue tasks on average 25 to 30 percent faster than two and three person crews respectively. This finding could help communities better determine the number of fire stations and firefighters they should have at the ready. Currently, the way uh, deployment decisions are made is that the uh, fire chiefs and the um, personnel, uh, the city county managers or the mayor, uh, the people who have the resources um, at the local level, um, get together and look at matching the resources that they have to the risks that they have. There is no technical basis for understanding if you make a change to your deployment, you add or subtract people, um, you open or close additional stations. There's no uh, validated data to support um, understanding what the effects of those decisions are. Thanks to the efforts of the NIST-led Firefighter Consortium, the data are now in hand and ready to make a difference.